Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll explain you one very interesting problem based on circuit design from equation using operational amplifier. Let me read the question first. See, question is design a circuit for output V0 where V0 is equals to minus 2 V1 plus 3 V2 minus 4 V3. Here V1, V2, V3 are inputs and V0 that is output. This equation that we need to make using two operational amplifier. Here I'll explain you complete process of making circuit. So first of all, you need to understand this equation. See this equation that is V0 is equals to minus 2 V1 plus 3 V2 minus 4 V3. Now this equation is having three inputs V1, V2, V3. V1 and V3 that is having negative polarity and V2 is having positive polarity. So as V1 and V3 is having negative polarity, we can obtain this V0 using scaling of inverting configuration. To have scaling using inverting configuration, first we need to take negative sign common out of this. So if you take negative sign common, then V0 equation will be, here you will be having 2V1, here you will be having minus 3V2 and here you will be having plus 4v3. Here if you observe this equation in which with v2 we have negative sign. So first what I'll do is I'll explain you basic block diagram for this equation and based on block diagram I'll make a circuit out of it. So here see v0 is having negative sign. So first of all we need to convert that negative sign into positive sign. So in first block, what we will be doing is we will be converting V2 into minus V2. After that V1 and that minus V2 and that V3 that we will be giving it to scaling with inverting configuration. Let me show you how. See here we will be having two stages. In first stage this V2 that I will be converting into minus V2 using gain is equals to minus 1. Right, here I will be converting this V2 into minus V2 using gain is equals to minus 1. Now that minus V2, then V1 and V3, that I will be giving it to scaling with inverting configuration. And at last we will be having output. Now what I will do is, I will be converting this block into circuit first. So here you can observe, see this operational amplifier that we will be using it to convert V2 into minus V2. So here we will be having minus V2. Why here we will be having minus V2? The reason is with this operational amplifier, we give V2 at minus terminal and here we have feedback resistance R and this resistance is also R. So gain of this first op amp that is minus RF by R1. Here RF is R. R1 is R, so gain is minus 1. What it means? Output of this op amp will be minus V2, right? As gain is minus 1. Now this minus V2, this V1 and this V3, that we will be giving it to scaling with inverting configuration. In scaling with inverting configuration, you see with minus V2 resistance is R2, with V1 resistance is R1 and with V3 resistance is R3 and here feedback is having resistance RF. So what should be my output? Let me explain your output equation. After that, I'll give values to the components and based on components value, I'll make this equation, right? So first of all, let me write generalized equation for this output. So here, my output will be, you see, because of V1, what is my output? Because of V1, my output will be V1 into gain over here. You see here we have inverting configuration with negative feedback. So here because of V1 gain is minus RF by R1. So here gain is minus RF by R1. Because of minus V2, what is my output? Because of minus V2, my output is minus V2 into here gain is minus RF by R2. Here gain is minus RF by R2. And because of V3, my output is plus V3 into gain is minus RF by R3. Gain is minus RF by R3. 
So that is now my output is coming. Now I need to simplify this output. So here you see this equation is minus v1 into rf by r1 then minus minus plus v2 into rf by r2 then you see here minus sign is there so minus v3 into rf by r3 right so that is now this basic equation is there with us now if you observe what is the question question is to have v naught that is equals to this right so what i'll do is i'll be comparing this equation with this equation so let me write that equation first so here we have this equation and for this circuit for this circuit equation is this so if you compare this two equation then you see what will happen here we will be having minus 2 that is equals to minus rf by r1 right so you can say rf by r1 that is equals to 2 here if you observe with v2 component is 3 so 3 is equals to rf by r2 so rf by r2 that is equals to 3 if you observe this component then minus rf by r3 that is equals to minus 4 so you can say rf by r3 that is equals to 4 now here if i say see this r and r that is also rf so you can have rf over here so here see we will be having this relation now we can assume few values like let me assume one value assume that assume that rf is equals to 1 kilo ohm so if rf is equals to 1 kilo ohm what are the values of r1 r2 and r3 r1 that will be rf by 2 right so that will be 1000 by 2 means it will be 500 what is the value of r2 r2 is rf by 3 so 1000 by 3 means it will be 333 ohm and what is the value of r3 that is rf by 4 1000 by 4 means it is 250 ohm right so these are the values which we have and i have already explained that is there for this circuit so now we can substitute the values in this circuit so let me take this circuit first with this circuit see value of rf that is 1 kilo ohm right value of rf that is 1 kilo ohm value of r1 that is 500 so value of r1 that is 500 value of r2 that is 333 ohm and value of r3 that is 250 ohm so if you have this circuit with the values which is given over here you will be having v naught that will be this only so that is minus 2 v1 plus 3 v2 minus 4 v3 so that is how one can follow the process over here See, it is not compulsory that you will have to assume rf is equals to 1 kilo ohm you can select any value and based on that you will be getting value of r1 r2 and r3 as per the relation which i have explained over here right and see here it is not compulsory that you will be having rf and rf over here it could be any other resistor but remember this two resistor value that should be same that is how simply we can design circuit i hope now you are getting the points how to follow the process and based on this process you will be designing circuit for any other question even i hope you have understood all those things still if anything that you would like to share please note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video